Hey everybody, it's Steve A Thousand Year Homes, and today I stand between two worlds. I stand between a pond full of water and a pond dry hole. And the dry hole is actually deeper than the pond full of water. So uh, what I'm doing here, uh, there's only uh, 65 days of rain a year around my area. It's 300 days of sunshine, and I love sunshine, so that's okay. But when the sun comes out, it cooks this ground rock hard. Like for those of you who come from a land where there's rain and moisture in the soil and everything's happy, you can't appreciate uh, how hard the ground gets, how fast. So I should be working in my shipping container, building my own house, with making a dome and sile with a roof over my head. But every time the rain comes, I have got to work on the ground because I won't get another uh, chance at it. Two days after a good rainstorm, the road's too hard to work. Uh, within a week of a uh, rainstorm, the clay's too hard to work. And in fact, I got rain coming. If I leave that clay sit right there, that hole sit right there, by tomorrow, it'll be too hard for me to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get my drone up in the air and take a look. And uh, real pleased. Now, this was a, uh, there are a lot of frogs in there. <laughs> All those ripples are frogs. So this little stock pond was originally just a, uh, I will call it a spillway for the driveway to spill into to keep the drive dry. Now, the way the rain works, my drive still isn't high enough. And indeed, I've got a low spot there that turns into a swamp. And uh, when it rains, it makes it very hard to come in and out of this pond, of this uh, area. Now I'm gonna put another drive in eventually on the other side. But right now, this is the service entrance that I have, and I gotta make it work. So, while the, uh, while the dirt's diggable, <laughs> I am digging this hole for two, two things. One is the last rainstorm let me know that that little, that little, what I started as just a, a causeway, a spillway for, uh, you know, flood. There, I had, I had water in it almost all last year. So now I'm, I know if I get it five or six or ten, ten feet deep that I'll be able to hold water in it. So there you go. That's what I'm working on. And I will slowly strip the soil away here. I'm going to put up clay and grass and all on that. If I can get that high enough, even though it's not rock, <laughs> it's just soil. Other roads around here are built out of it. So if I can get it high enough where the water stays in here, then I know that I can do that. So this is why I'm digging this out, make it a little deeper. I love the frog habitat already. So there's a good sized wind going, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to try to get the drone up and put it on follow me mode and see if it'll cope with the wind and uh, do that. In the meanwhile, I'll set you all over there uh, under a tree kind of propped up so the wind doesn't push you down. I'll put you on stop motion. So I'm going to dig on this hole. It's after 5 p.m. and I'm done with my day job. So I got uh, just maybe an hour, hour and a half I can dig and uh, and. It might even start raining tomorrow, but I'm hoping it'll rain. start raining on Friday. Give me another full 24 hours to dig on that hole. We'll see. Let me put you on stop motion. Now, oh, one last thing. If while I'm digging, I break through and that water comes and washes me away, call 911. Y'all call 911 if you see that happen.
Well, here's a little free thing that I'm doing while I'm digging that hole. All of the grass and whatnot, I'm uh, I'm building up a bank, not a not a direct bank, but just a berm. So when that floods tremendously and the water does come up and it does occasionally, it'll follow along into that little berm and I'll tunnel it out there and it'll go into my garden. And y'all see that I'm, uh, I've started to work on my garden this year. That's uh, called Hugel culture when you pile up uh, wood and, uh, you know, and lasagna gardening is the modern word for putting down this what I'm going to do is churn it all, but it suppresses the grass. So there's one where I've, I'm suppressing it. I would not say killing it. <laughs> there. And there's another. So when it floods, there'll be a little opening in the in the Hugo culture. The flood will come into this garden, which is a moon-shaped garden. And uh, I'll build up the berm here. And I'll go into this garden, which has no cardboard on it. Not suppressed at all. And totally wild and so it'll flood both of those and then I'll run a low spot all the way to the back which will be a sunflower patch which I haven't put in yet ever so this will be the first year for sunflowers I'm gonna grow them right in the uh, soil I'm just gonna pull a disc across that and just plant sunflowers right in there and we'll see if that'll work out but anyway that's that's the goal when the pond floods it'll follow the berm Go into a trench, the trench will flood that garden, then it'll flood this garden, and then it'll run off if there's any left uh, and flood the sunflower garden. Work smarter, not harder. So once I get that done, maybe I'll have a pretty good little, uh, you know, if it floods a couple of times a year, maybe it'll super saturate that ground and give me a chance of growing decent gardens. I had a good garden last year. Even in the drought, uh, but I had to hand water some things later on, and the heat got up there, killed everything. All right, that that was fun. That's a bonus from the stock pond dig. It's getting late. Let me get in. There's still a little rain promise, so we'll see tomorrow. Well, I'm standing between the two worlds, the water world and the dry hole world, and I'm going to get as close as I can to that, as deep as I can, before that uh, before that wall collapses but uh, I'm, a, I'm not a gambling man well all right I am I am a gambling man I am not sure how close I can get to that pond before the seepage gets in there already this clay here has a little more water in it but I'm gonna keep working here and, and try to cut that all the way out to there and uh, you don't have to watch me do that. It's going to get too dark. I'm going to use my lights anyway. But you saw I use a backhoe to, to break up that clay. I can't get a bucket into there. Even if I had the blades with the teeth in it, they still wouldn't cut in there. That is clay clay, which makes for a great pond, but also for hard digging. And I do have to dig it while I'm just this because those will turn into blocks. So that's not a very best drive, but I'm just going to keep piling and keep piling until my driveway's four foot high and it'll hold that's the way the stock ponds are around here and you can walk on the dams with the stock ponds so it'll hold all right so i don't know i'm standing down two foot below the pond level right now so we'll see i'm going to keep digging so but i'm going to put you up for the night while i do that uh the little frogs have been keeping me company so you see them all moving in the water all moving in the water watching me they're curious and then you all saw that I take that leftover dirt and slowly build this thing up run it over a million times I'll keep running it over until this is all as high as the uh, this is as high as the uh, culvert here that goes from there to there and I will build this up until it's that high that has got to keep me dry <laughs> <laughs> that has got to keep me dry and uh, we'll see <laughs> well the rain came a little early on uh, uh, one day early as forecasted I guess it didn't wait till Friday rotate
So uh, that is not seeping from the pond at all. I checked it before the rain came and it was dry. But that, that would be slippery. If I put my tractor down in there, I'd never get out. But uh, I'm going to guess uh, now that the rain is stopping, it's, it's very late. It's probably uh, dusk and uh, 7 or 8, I'm going to guess. But uh, that came from the rain. Not quite an inch today. A little short of an inch, not a whole lot. But uh, we'll see if that's in there tomorrow. While I'm out, let me go ahead and take a look at the drive. That you know, I'm taking the dirt from the one place and putting it in another. This way, uh, this is my personal journal. Besides just being a, a YouTube channel, I welcome you to come along. But uh, it's for my memory as well. So uh, that spot where I thought it would build up, uh, it's got a little rain going on. I'm hoping that I can get this built up and get some grass in there. Because once I get some grass, it will. It'll be all right, uh, but it's not built up enough. And then I, I could see standing water here and there, which uh, that's not going to be any good. So I'll need to dig some more dirt or truck in gravel if I can find somebody in this county to to sell me some. But so far, it seems like the county, uh, all the gravel in this county is booked up for new construction. Yep. Guy like me just doesn't count. <laughs> That's it. There we go. A little look at the pond. All right. Yep, there we go. What do we got? Uh, four feet between those two. So you can tell it's not seepage because it's not topped off. I want to dig that. Every bit of six or seven feet deep, I want to get it deep. But uh, I can't stick that tractor in there yet. Hopefully sometime this weekend. Hopefully. Well, the rain beat me, obviously. Uh, it ended about uh, six hours ago, I would say. Clear skies in Texas again. I'm going to guess that that will never drain. I'm going to guess that it's uh, down on the clay and I'll have to pump that out. I have a pump around here somewhere. Well, I will pump that out and get that going. I've got rain again in two days. So if I put my tractor in there, it'll just that that uh, clay is so slippery that that tractor will never back out. So I'm going to think about it a little bit. Let me rotate, show you my next plan of action. So this part here, this four foot here, what I'm thinking I could do is... Uh, maybe work it just a little bit originally i was going to cut around the edge get the soil around the edge move that onto the drive scoop clay out there and pack it along the edge just to make this a little more robust when i first made this again it was just a spillway i thought nothing about making a retention uh, permanent pond that would be a frog pond i was hoping it would and lo and behold it did so let's go ahead and take a look at the drive see if i can walk across it now, uh, it is, I just packed it <laughs> last night and the rains came. So I'm not expecting success. We'll see though. Well, it's a couple hours of the Texas sun. It might really change that up. Now, if I have another year of drought, obviously that hole will dry up. Not only will it dry up, it'll turn into concrete. And I will not even be able to uh, dig that with my backhoe. Let me rotate. <laughs> So I did a pretty good job getting it smoothed in the dark uh, before the rains. And actually in the rain, I was working in the rain. So uh, let's see where I'm, where I'm walking. You know, I sunk down in those, that new stuff I'm sunk down. The old stuff uh, is solid. It's the same material. So it, the only difference is time, right? This is fresh out of the ground and uh, that's not. And the fresh out of the ground is going to be rough. Now, I will uh, overtop this eventually once I get it high enough. Uh, this is not appropriate material uh, to build a driveway out of, but it's the material I have, and therefore it will be the material I use. Let me see if I can even walk out on Oh, looky there! Looky there! You can't even see my footprints there. Listen, it was uh, raining just a few hours ago. Apologies for the bright sun shadow. I'm sure the wind is up too. Looky here. 
Now this spot here, this was where I had uh, was all underwater, all underwater. If I walk that way, I bet you I'll, I'll sink in, but I could drive a truck across this right now. I, I am surprised. I mean, I'm gonna give it another day. I, get, I still got groceries, so I don't gotta do that. All right, well, I'm gonna take a walk up and take a look at the road, see how good that is. Maybe walk to the mailbox, it'll be a little while. But that was successful. Look at there, people. I'm happy. Oh, my gypsum frog pond finally gave up. So now we know how, what the tolerance level is. When you build a new drive next to a pond, it will it will get cloudy. <laughs> All the water ran down in there. All right, I, that's with with that. That's certainly understand. All right, well, pretty happy with that. Uh, you know, I I was not expecting this stuff to already be uh, solid. Let, you know, I'll jump up and down on it, and then we'll look together. Uh, you can't even see where I was jumping on it. I told you this stuff turns to concrete in the sun. Six hours ago, it was pouring rain and overcast, and now uh, the what I did, and I, that's not even hard packed, is already turning into concrete. So uh, I'll get it up high enough; it'll stay firm. The uh, that's a pond, you can't really tell it, but there's a four or five foot uh, dike all the way around it, and it's as hard as a rock, and you can drive a tractor on that. It never gets spongy. The cattle have tromped it down, down through the years. All right, well, that's probably enough for, that's probably enough for my pond video. I'll put that out and just know that I'm gonna keep working. I do have a mud sump, so I might pump that hole out, let it dry for a day or two. I have got to work on it while I have opportunity. If I let it go, uh, it'll get too hard. I won't be able to work on it. So I'll, I'll be, as soon as I can work it, I'll be out working it and we'll get forward from there.